Hey guys, coming we're, at you full time we're, thriving. We're back again. We're back again, still at the same location. Still at Garenzi's and we just stumbled upon something that we used to have a tab. Yes, we we did. What was it? A four hundred or was it a three twenty? Well, I think it was a three twenty at the time. It was, it was a, our very first RV. Two thousand sixteen. So we just ran across this boondock uh, four hundred. Yes. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look. You've arrived at your destination. So right up front, you have a nice metal cage. It only has one twenty-pound tank in it, though. But it leaves you room for storage. Yep. Um, it's very nice, beefy. And then uh, you can obviously get something to strap down here, maybe a generator, maybe some totes. Still hand crank. And this is the boondock package, right, it's Chris? It's a boondock package. And I, I am not really familiar with Tab. I haven't looked at them in a while, so I'm not sure what that means. It does have solar. Yep. So uh, it's got some kind of battery package, but, but we you remember can move these. this thing around with yep. just your hands. Yep, we did that all the time. All the time. So we come around here. And this is what, about 17 feet, Chris? <laughs> 21 maybe to, to the tongue to the end. Okay. You know? um, the heater part. Uh, 30 amp. 30 amp plug. It's got some nice beefy tires on it. Yeah, it's got the boondock package, which is nice. Now, this is what I found interesting now. Look at the water bay. So you have a black flush. You have water inlet. You have a shower. And you got all these. I mean, it almost looked like a higher end fifth wheel model you know they really put some thought into that you got your um satellite and cable jacks so you got all your stuff winterizing dry camping like i said yeah it's really nice and then um like you said it's got the nice little hose port to come up in there so you can keep everything nice and secure and dry so i thought that was kind of interesting you know for an upgrade on, on the tab before we had it and then let's you come back around if you come back here you can see the solar panel is flat it goes the curve with the RV, which is really cool. Yeah, that is cool. And then you can see as we get inside this big back window right here, which is really nice, lets in a lot of light. And then there's some of those handles again, guys. You have a gas port in the back, which you could probably use for something. Yep. Like I said, this handle, Steph and I used to move this around our old house very easily. So it's kind of neat. It is kind of neat. It's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. We're gonna, we have not seen one of these in a while. So here's, here we go again. here's your limited storage. Now, obviously, we've gone down in square footage, right, in length. So we're, we know we're not going to get storage with this. But it does have a little bit of storage in there for you. And this is under the bed, That's right, under Chris? The bed. Yep. Yep. It's got some 110 outlets up here. And then this rail system, you can get a, an outdoor tent that attaches right to this to give you extra space on the outside. We had that mm -hmm. with our other tab, which was really nice. It doesn't take that long to set up. And like you said, it gives you some more space to put stuff. So here we go. Nice handle right here. Uh, beefy metal step. Now this door is pretty cool. It's got stuff to pot, you know, pack things away. You got a, a nice little screen. screen. Yep. A little, a little trash, trash can, can probably or whatever you want to put there. Dog leash. Yep. I love it. The fire extinguishers right here. Yep. So it looks really good. All right. We're going to go inside. We're going to show you. It's a little bit messy because we were mucking around with we it. We were. But we're going to show you something cool in this, which we probably wouldn't use. Right. But it's pretty funky. So come on in. <laughs> So as you can see here, guys, this is actually a bunk bed. Look at that, guys. I don't, I don't know about this. I'm really scared. But <laughs> it says 200 pound capacity. It now, does. What, now what this does is the legs will come up and it'll fold back down and be the backrest. Why don't you show them? What are we doing? It oh, take okay. off. The, take this off. Oh yeah. Yep. That's the little bed rail little thing there. Bed rail thing right there. Um, you do have storage under here, by the way. Yep. There's lots of storage there. Now I'm not. And then the cushion will come off that little bunk bed right up there and it'll eventually go back to a table dinette set guys so like chris says i don't think we'll ever use that again or ever use this at all to be honest <laughs> yep go ahead i'm not sure how this thing goes so bear with me yep but we found it while we were looking under the dinette so it's pretty interesting and it is a small unit so you just have to kind of bear with that and uh kind of go with it right <laughs> there you go not sure uh... there it goes there it goes yep and then this goes back up i'm not sure how but yep it sits right down in the there you go that's on the that's the cushion yep there you go 
And you see you got a lot of storage up there. Little nooks up there. Yeah, I'm not really sure how to fix all this yet, so. Got some uh, venting down there. You got That's some venting vents. right there. You got some USB cords right there. So this is where the table goes, Chris, right? Yeah. So we'll put that back. We apologize, we weren't prepared to do this, but uh, well, we just saw it, so. Right? We just started mucking around, made ourselves at home. Oh, someone wants Chris. <laughs> and then as you can see, the table's right here. And the table swivels from side to side. And you've got the cushions there. Yeah. You've got a porthole there. you got one here. And look, you got the shades that go up and down. And the same with this. Look at that. So you got some nice shade going on. Let's put this on there. Brad. Yeah. There we go. And so if you see, we're going to sit right here. I'm going to sit. And Chris is going to show you our teeny itty bitty tab 400. So I'm sitting at the table, guys. So you can tell here is. I'm back at the bed. Here's your space. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's take a look at this. We yep. have some nice look at that. storage options right here. Got a little zing on the door right there. What's this now right this, here? Oh, oh, this is a little uh, sink. See that, guys? Look, nice. Now, one. This is a wet bath. That's a wet bath, guys. Look so at that. it comes with a curtain. You have to kind of wrap it all the way around when you're taking a shower. Huh? And there's your porthole, you know, if you want yep. people to so see. So you got it. some light in there, which is great for a bathroom. You don't really see a lot of that. This is new, guys. It covers the toilet paper. This was not in our original one in 2016. And then you can see you got a little mirror right there. So, so it's really nice. You can put some towels and stuff up there, which is great. Yeah. We got the microwave. Yeah. Like I said, more storage. And then we've got. This should be a, our little two burner. Yeah. And we got more. I mean, you got a fuse panel down there, but look at all. I mean, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Look at that. Look storage. at all that storage. This has more storage than that than that Terra Oasis. Right. I mean. Look at that. It's really got some good stuff in here. Look at all that. Look at that. It's nice, nice. And then there's one down there. You got one. Under got a the big bed. one under the bed. <laughs> you got. You got one right there. Look at that, guys. And then this is your little uh little fridge. Little three-way fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Not much. Not bad. And then you got your radio up here. Little radio. Yep. And, and so then, like I said, I'm 5'11. Yep. And so he can lay from head to toe. Very plenty, comfortable. Plenty of room in here. For two people, yep. Stuff you can come around here. Yeah. We got a little cubby. You know, so like I need a CPAP or something, you can plug it in right there. Yep. It's got some power, um, probably for the battery monitor. Yeah. It's a ducted, couple of speakers back here. Got some lights right and there. And I bet if you pull that down, you can hang something on I it. I bet you could. There you go. Look at that. So if you have some shirts, Pretty you just nifty. need to hang up. And then again, if you want to pull this, Chris, so for- Pull all that look down. Look at that. Nice. And then you can go the other way. Yeah, you can totally block it totally out. Totally block it out. And you get this TV right here, guys, actually swivels to the point where you could see it in bed. And you could actually see it sitting right here at the at the table. And then we've got the fantastic Sam. Oh, fantastic Sam. I always <laughs> want to say that. The fans. There's the fans right there. And it's got the boondock, like Chris said. And then these over here, Chris, you want to explain what these are? I'm sweating. I know. Um, tank monitors, battery, uh, porch and water heater, sink. So yep. your Dometic and then your Aldi uh, heater. Yeah. So, so I think uh, this might be. Woo. Oh, we, it's hot here without the AC running. It is, but we do uh, really it, like this one. Interesting find. We just stumbled upon this, so we looked at it. So we weren't really prepared to video it, but wanted to show you guys. Wanted to show you. We've had one before, so this one is actually pretty neat. Yeah. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.